Okay, so to, to, to really understand uh, gamification, um, Professor Carl, uh, Kapp, thinks that it's nice to first uh, start by defining what a game is. So he defines a game as uh, a game is a system in which players engage in an abstract challenge defined by rules, interactivity, and feedback that results in a quantifiable, often eliciting an emotional reaction. So key words that we can pick from this definition of games is that a game is a system. This is very important, the first part, the system. All parts of the game are, should be connected. All parts of the game should be connected. In the first example, I gave you uh, a task and I explained the rules. And you became one system. If when she raised up her hand, no one else could raise up their hand because the system is acting in one way, this way. Right, so you become, uh, uh, it, the game becomes a system. Which players engage in an abstract challenge, right? So in the example of uh, Runner 5 or Zombie Run, um, you, you are building a base and then you put on your headphones Then they tell you you have to run to collect some supplies. When you turn a corner, they tell you run faster. There are zombies right behind you, you know. It's kind of a challenge, right? And then they are made by rules, right? You, you cannot just be on, like in Pokemon Go, um, you, you cannot, they tell you, they ask you are, you, are you walking or you are a passenger, you know? Because they don't want you to break the rules. In, in this case, they're just discouraging people to drive and play. But the rule is you should not play while driving. So there are rules, certain rules, different rules within the game. And then also the outcome, the outcome you know. Let's, let's, let's get into details about this definition. We look at each of these words in a little bit more detail. So first, about, let's look at the system. Is a set of interconnected elements uh, that occur uh, in a space inside the game. Um, scores are linked to actions, and actions are limited by rules. Yeah. For example, if the point, if the, the the whole point of the game is to get the highest score, there should be actions governed by rules within getting a high score. Otherwise, they can just create a big button here and just say press and get one million points. But it's not fun, it's not interesting, right? So there should be rules that govern the point system within the game. And then also, players. Players uh, involve a person either interacting with uh, the game or interacting with other players within the game. Uh, later, I will refer to players as an audience because us as public health uh, people or epidemiologists or physicians, we like to think about uh, um, audiences. Who is our target audience? So I'll refer to players as audiences. And then players in gamification are our target audience. Next, uh, they mention an abstract. Um, games typically involves an abstraction of reality and uh, typically take place in a narrowly defined game space, right? So there's reality and there's game space, but the reality somehow you can imagine in the game space. You can imagine everything in reality within a small area in a smartphone game or in a computer game or in a running game. And then also I mentioned this, there's a challenge. Uh, players achieve goals, which, which uh, uh, is already mentioned, that it's very important that 
players achieve goals. And later on, I will discuss a little bit about this point because it determines a lot of many outcomes in, in, in game design. So a game becomes boring without any sort of challenge, right? So um, the game should be hard, but not too hard. It should be easy, but not too easy. Uh, there's actually a, a well-defined uh, uh, theory that explains this. We'll discuss it soon. And then next, um, there are rules, as I've already mentioned. The rules of a game define the game. They define uh, uh, the structure and what is allowed and what is not allowed and its artificial constructs So within the game. They define the sequence of play. They define the winning state. Uh, they define what is fair and what is unfair for you to do um, uh, in, within the context of, of that game. The next thing in the the next term in the in the definition is interactivity. Players interact with one another uh, with the game um, or the game environment. Inter interactivity is probably one of today probably one of the largest components of game because games interact with they call them socially aware. They interact with uh, where you are, right? Physically where you are or they interact with uh, who is your friend on Facebook. Um, interactivity is part of the, in our days, uh, interactivity is part of the very important components of, of games. And then also there's feed, feedback. Feedback is also probably one of the most important uh, components of games. Um, it, it also allows us, health professionals, to add something in the game that will uh, advance health. Feedback combo component. <clears throat> Next, there's a quantifiable outcome. So you always know when you, you've won. There's usually no doubt if you won or not. You know, you just know because of your score or because of the outcome. It's either you die or you have another life or things like that. Or you can catch uh, 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 anything on Pokemon Go. <laughs> And there's also that emotional re reaction. Uh, either you lose or you win, you know, it has to attach some emotion to it. Um, they call it from the thrill of victory, you know, that feeling, yes! <laughs> you know, that feeling, you cannot, it, it, you cannot uh, 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 equate it with anything else if you say, yes, I got it. Or that agony of defeat, oh no. You feel like throwing your phone down or throwing your screen uh, out of the window, you know. It's something you feel inside. So that emotional reaction uh, that games uh, generate is very important. So at times it can be frustrating, sometimes it can uh, incite anger or some sadness, but the stronger the feeling, the more engaging a game is. Right. So we've defined all these terms one by one, and all together, these terms uh, come together in this way. So a player gets caught up in playing a game uh, because of the instant feedback and uh, constant interaction uh, are repeated, are related to the challenge of the game, which is defined by rules, which all work within the system to provoke or uh, to provoke yes, an emotional reaction, and finally results in a quantifiable outcome within an abstract version of a larger system. So this is how all these terms come together to produce a, a, a gaming experience.